With Jonestown, the name itself forever linked to a mass murder suicide of more than 900 people. One of the worst disasters in American history. And tonight, 35 years to the day, KITV Force Lari Amata introduces us to a survivor right here in Hawaii and his story of death and life. It's a KITV 4 exclusive. He called it a dream. They called it utopia. Verda Gosney was 25 years old when he arrived in Jonestown with his five year old son. But Gosney would soon realize what many others did not. Jonestown would not save them. Jonestown would end them. How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you a good life. November 18, 1978, that haunting voice as if in a trance. For nearly an hour, Jim Jones, the man who called himself God, drew his followers to their final moments. We've been so betrayed. We have been so terribly betrayed. This is Kuan Yin, goddess of compassion and mercy. In order to be free, I had to forgive him. I had to forgive the unforgivable. Lifted by the spirits on his walls. I love Kuan Yin's. Documented in the pages of his album. In his Maui home, Vernon Gosney relived the past. Welcome to Jonestown. From the People's Temple in San Francisco to the jungles of Guyana in South America, he says they came by the busloads. There's a sense of cohesiveness, closeness. Following Jones's simple message of equality, love, peace, and happiness. We started with about 141 people, and from that we've grown to a very thriving congregation of 2,000. It started with a dream, and then things start to go wrong. Gosney says despite the lush green surrounding them, the homes built by their hands, fresh water was miles away, the soil was poor, and that dream began to die. Well, there's a lot of things that I could have wished I could have gone back and done differently, uh, but I can't, you know. Uh, you know, I can't take back the past. Just days before the day of reckoning, cut off from their families, Congressman Leo Ryan had come to investigate. Gosney says despite a show of unity, it was he who revealed their suffering in a written note that would accidentally end up in Jones's hands. It was great terror and fear. I never thought I was going to get out alive. Several tried that day, reaching a small plane on a dirt airstrip. But Jones's supporters would follow, killing Congressman Ryan and four others. Gosney shot three times in the stomach, he would escape to the jungle and survive, unaware who would not. For God's sake, let's get on with it. We've lived, we've lived as no other people have lived and loved. We've had as much of this world as you're going to get. Let's just be done with it. In the aftermath, more than 900 lay dead from cyanide poisoning, including Gosney's five-year-old son, Mark. It's not a day that I don't think about my son. This is where I came to heal. Uh, the spirit, it's, you know, all the people that I've met here and I've been embraced here. He moved to Maui in 1982 to follow a spiritual group that eventually fell apart, but it led him to the place that would help to heal his heart and mind. So these are my lovebirds. There's a, um, a certain squawk when they call to other birds. Surrounded by beauty, successful in therapy, happily retired after 30 years on Maui's police force. It's been a very long journey. Gosney says decades after Jonestown, he's finally created the light to conquer the darkness of his past. I don't deserve to be here more than anybody else, but I am. And so this is incredible. Uh, grace that I live with. That's, un, I'm not able to understand it, but I, I am so grateful for. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. And at this hour, Vernon Gosney is talking to students at Hawaii Pacific University. He's sharing his story, helping them understand a dark part of America's history. He says he hopes to keep working with young people to prevent another Jonestown from ever happening again.